going back to our first practice model, just push through the timeline, two more features. Now, this one's a bit different. I've got, uh, rather than extruding out, I've cut in. And you can imagine, this would be what you would do here to get your USB um, into your flash drive cover. So, but I'm still going to use a sketch to tell it what shape to do. So using a lot of sketches here. So create sketch, which plane? I want it here. And that was a rectangle shape again. I'll just choose the two point and I'm just going to quickly draw it in. Yes, I'm happy with that. Sketch dimension. Notice it says a letter here and there's a few others that says letters there, just shortcuts. You could just hit D on your keyboard. So I'm going to do two clicks here, one click, uh, two click, and I'm going to do that 20 millimeters wide, one click, two click. I'll do this um, 10 millimeters high. Okay, excellent. But, uh, it's still blue because it wants to know where in this shape. So while I've still got the dimension tool selected, I'm gonna go one click, two click, three click. Now I know that this was 50 millimeters long and this is 20 millimeters long. So there's between this gap and this gap, there's 30 millimeters. So 30 millimeters divided by two, this dimension must be 15. And I'm gonna put that in. There's no need to put the other 15 in here because it knows if that's 15 and that's 20 that that gap remaining and you can tell the lines have gone black so it's happy. I'll just get the height in. So three clicks, one click, two click, three click and I'm, uh, I'm happy with five, yep. Okay, so that was a lot quicker. I'll just hit stop sketch. Now, before we extruded out and created and uh, more shapes. This time we want to do the opposite, but it's still an extrusion. So hit the extrude, hit the profile that you want to do. Now, rather than coming out, this time we're going to go in and you can see automatically it changes color, it goes to red. Because if you look to where my mouse is here, it's gone from uh, a joining feature to a cutting feature. Uh, let's go 40 millimeters deep. That will be long enough. Just hit okay. And there we go. So that would be how we would create a cavity in our flash drive cover. Okay, looking pretty good. Now, we're, I said you had to do eight features and we've only got seven here. So let's look at the final feature of our original model. So like Michael J. Fox, let's go back to the present. And you can see I've rounded the corners. Uh, and if I look at some of the practice models, you can see I rounded the corners here and inside there. Um, I rounded these ones here. Um, what about this one here? You can see I've done big rounds here. It's very easy. These aren't, these are called what they're called fillets and you'll find that in the modification menu. So there we go. So there's fillets and you can see in the picture there is taking corners and rounding them. So it's a very easy feature, um, to get a bit of style in your design. So I'm going to say, I want to fillet that corner that corner and if I hover there, it will still let me do it. And the final one there, and let's play around with some values. How about uh, five? Am I happy with that? It looks okay. Maybe you want to increase it. So remember, you can go back to your feature tree at any time or your timeline, just double click. Um, how about we make that 7.5? And there we go. So. That is um, a very basic introduction to Fusion 360, and I'll just go over the features that we used. Just looking at the timeline, we started with a box just to do that shape. Then we did a sketch and an extrusion to do these shapes here. We did another sketch and extrusion to do the text, but in the, in the sketch, we used the text tool to write our words. And then we did another sketch and extrusion to do the cavity, but rather than um, making a positive shape, we made a negative shape and cut into the feature. Very handy. Um, if I just look up here, you can see that's how I would have done this shape here. It would have been a sketch and then a negative extrusion. 
And the final feature we used was uh, the fillet tool, just to fillet our corners. Some very easy tools to get you going um, on your journey into creating your own uh, USB flash drive to 3D print.